Bottom trawling is an industrial fishing practice used to capture a large amount of sea life by dragging a large net with heavy weights across the seafloor. Nets can be 40 feet tall and 200 feet wide. A net will scoop up almost everything in its path. This includes targeted fish and accidental catch, along with destroying any coral along the way that may have taken centuries to grow. Bottom trawling is commonly used to catch organisms such as shrimp, cod, flounder, and orange ruffy. All the extra marine life that is caught along with the targeted animals is called bycatch. These creatures are often discarded overboard, dead or dying. Bycatch can sometimes be as high as 90% of the trawl's catch. Sea turtles are especially at risk. They can drown from being caught underwater. If they do make it to the boat alive, they are often injured in the process. Marine mammals like pilot whales and common dolphins are also frequently caught. Methods of bottom trawling have been around since the 1300s. Trawling became widespread in the late 19th century in order to create a new market for fish that weren't normally caught. Ever since then, trawlers have been moving their operations into deeper and deeper waters. Nets can be modified based on the targeted species. Shrimp trawling can be the most damaging because the small mesh used for the net allows very few organisms to escape. In the Gulf of Mexico, it is estimated that for every pound of shrimp caught, between 4 and 10 pounds of other marine resources are thrown away. For the animals that do manage to evade the net, their habitat and shelter is now destroyed by the trawl's weights. The entire seafloor is altered by the trawl's path. By resuspending the bottom sediment, the chemistry of the water is changed. The suspended sediment lowers light levels needed by photosynthetic organisms. Dredging up sediment also reintroduces man-made chemical pollutants like DDT and PCBs that had previously settled on the bottom of the seafloor. These toxins can be absorbed and consumed by the fish we eat, along with other marine life. An area damaged from trawling may take centuries to fully heal. Besides the destruction of whole communities, bottom trawling causes overfishing of commonly eaten fish populations because it is not selective enough. Many deep sea fish, like the orange ruffy, are slow growing and late maturing making them unable to compensate for the heavy fishing pressure. Local fishermen that catch fewer fish for the same effort are also negatively affected. Trawling also impacts the tourism industry in popular water recreation areas by harming the marine animals and coral reefs that attract tourists. All of the impacts of trawling are made worse by the fact that bottom trawling is extremely expensive to operate. Many trawlers are given government subsidies just to stay in business. On a positive note, in recent years some trawlers have begun using turtle excluder devices that allow captured sea turtles to escape without being harmed. And many countries have begun designating marine protective areas where trawling is not allowed. Even though many countries have reduced trawling in efforts to stop overfishing, bottom trawling still plays a major role in fisheries around the world. Trawling is thought to be responsible for up to half of the discarded marine life worldwide. At this rate, it is imperative to designate more marine protective areas where bottom trawling is not allowed so that vulnerable fish populations are more likely to recover. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.